Although it's still wet and cold, our winter season comes to an end today with the vernal equinox, which marks the first day of spring. First of all, meteorologist Darren Peck explains the equinox and what exactly it means for us. Okay, if we want to understand an equinox, let's bring in the sun, which, by the way, rotates every 30 days on its own. You can see the sunspots on there. I just thought that was an interesting little item to throw in here. But let's get back to the equinox. We'll bring in planet Earth. That's what it looks like during the winter. Everybody knows Earth is tilted 23 and a half degrees. That tilt obviously never changes, but our location around the sun does. So when we're at this point in our trip around the sun, the northern hemisphere is tilted away because of that tilt, which never changes. So the most direct rays of the sun are coming in right at the southern hemisphere. They're hitting us at the Tropic of Capricorn. That's summer in the southern hemisphere. It's winter for us. But right now, we're at the equinox. Why do we call it an equinox? Because it's equal day for everybody. At this point, nobody's tilted away or towards the sun just because of a happenstance of that tilt never changing and our position on our trip around the sun. Everybody gets an equal amount of daylight and the direct rays are hitting us right at the equator. That's the vernal equinox. We also do it in autumn. Here's how it looks in summer. Just to kind of complete the story here, northern hemisphere there pointed directly at the sun. So at this point now, the most direct rays of the sun are coming across and they're hitting the planet now in the northern hemisphere at the Tropic of Cancer. And here we come. That's our summer. That's in late June. That's when the most direct rays of the sun are at our latitude. But for today, we're in an equinox. So enjoy your 12 hours of daylight.